Good day students. Welcome to module 1 about Renaissance art. Today's objectives are 1. Analyzes art elements and principles in the production of artwork during the Renaissance period. 2. Create an artwork following the unique characteristics from Renaissance period. 3. Flex on the message of the artworks from the Renaissance period. So let's start this lesson with the pretest. Here, you have to guess the name of the artist in each given artwork name. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1, Mona Lisa. The correct answer is C. Number 2, Pieta. The correct answer is D. Next. Number 3, The Transfiguration. The correct answer is B. Number 4, David. The correct answer is A. Next, The Last Supper. The correct answer is D. Now, let's have a review. So here, I want you to look at the pictures and complete the missing letters to identify what era it came from. 1. From what era is this? If you answered Romanist, that's correct. Very good. Next, from what era is this? If you answered Byzantine, that's correct. Good job! Next. From what era is this? If you answered Gothic, that's correct. Bravo! Next. From what era is this? If you answered Greek, that's correct. Very good! Next, from what era is this? If you answer Egyptian, that's correct. Wow, good job! Now, let's start our lesson about the arts during the Renaissance period. Renaissance, a French word means rebirth, was the period of economic progress. The period steered enthusiasm for the study of ancient philosophy and artistic values. Italian Renaissance began in the late 14th century. It was an era of great artistic and intellectual achievement with the birth of secular art. The focus was on realistic and humanistic art. Renaissance art was characterized by accurate anatomy, scientific perspective, and deeper landscape. Here, we break down the unique feature of different art forms from the Renaissance period. In paintings, you can easily notice the real-life figures of their artwork, while on their sculptures, you can see the naturalistic portraits of human beings. On the other hand, in architecture, you'll be amazed by its symmetry and balance. As the classical Greeks believed in the harmonious development of the person through a sound mind by the practice of athletics, the Renaissance held up the idea of the well-rounded man, knowledgeable in a number of fields such as philosophy, science, arts, including painting and music, and who applies his knowledge to productive and creative activity. The Renaissance was a period of artistic experimentation, it brought man into a full view just like the human figure in Greek art. So now, let us know some of the famous artworks and artists during the Renaissance period. First is Michelangelo di Lodovico Bonarroti Simoni. Michelangelo is an Italian sculptor, painter, architect, and poet. He was considered the greatest living artist in his lifetime. And ever since then, he was considered as one of the greatest artists of all time. Now let's see his artworks. A number of his works in paintings, sculpture, and architecture rank among the famous in existence. Pieta, Bacchus, Moses, 
David, Dying Slave, and Dawn and Dusk. Two of his best-known works, the Pieta and David, were sculpted before he turned 30. He also created two of the most influential works in fresco in the history of Western art. The scenes from the Genesis on the ceiling and the Last Judgment on the altar wall of the Sistine Chapel in Rome. In Pieta, Michelangelo approached the subject which until then had been given form mostly from north of the Alps, where the portrayal of pain had always been connected with the idea of redemption as represented by the seated Madonna holding Christ's body in her arms. Now, let us know Leonardo di Ser Piero da Vinci and his artworks. Leonardo da Vinci was a painter, architect, scientist, and mathematician. He was popularized in present times through the novel and movie Da Vinci Code. He is known as the ultimate Renaissance man because of his intellect, interest, talent, and his expression of humanist and classical values. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest painters of all time and perhaps the most diversely talented person to have ever lived. Some of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous artworks are The Last Supper, which is the most reproduced religious painting of all time, and Mola Lisa, the most famous and most parodied portrait. He also created the Vertruvian Mar, the Adoration of the Magi, and the Virgin of the Rocks. Mona Lisa stems from a description by Renaissance art historian Giorgio Vasari, who wrote, Leonardo undertook to paint for Francesco de Gocondo the portrait of Mona Lisa, his wife. Mona, in Italian, is a polite form of address originating as Madonna, similar to ma'am, madame, or my lady in English. This became Madonna and its contraction Mona. The title of the painting, though traditionally spelled Mona, is also commonly spelled in modern Italian as Mona Lisa. Now, let's have the artworks of Raffaello Sancho da Urbino. Raphael was an Italian painter and architect of the High Renaissance period. His work was admired for its clarity of form and ease of composition and for its visual achievement in interpreting the divine and incorporating Christian doctrines. Together with Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, he formed the traditional trinity of great masters of that period. His main contributions to art were his unique draftsmanship and compositional skills. The Sistine Madonna, the School of Athens, and the Transfiguration are among his famous artworks. The Transfiguration was Raphael's last painting on which he worked on up to his death. Commissioned by Cardinal Giulio de Medici, the late Pope Clement VII, the painting was conceived as an altar piece for the Narbonne Cathedral in France. The painting exemplifies Raphael's development as an artist and the culmination of his career. The subject is combined with an additional episode from the Gospel in the lower part of the painting. Next is Donato di Niccolo di Beto Bardi, or most commonly known as Donatello. Donatello was one of the Italian great artists of the period. He was an early Renaissance Italian sculptor from Florence. He is known for his work in bas relief, a form of shallow relief sculpture. His artworks, statue and relief, include David, statue of St. George, equestrian monument of Gata Melata, prophet Habakkuk, and the feast of Herod. Donatello's sculpture David, at the time it was created, was the first known freestanding nude statue produced since ancient times. Now that we're done, let's have activities to test your knowledge about our lesson. For your first activity, I want you to name the following works and the corresponding name of the artist and describe each artwork. So what is the title of the artwork? 
What is the name of the artist? And please describe the artwork. Now, let's have your activity 2, Art Production. So this is called the Scenery Spot. As we may already know, Renaissance art is the art of calm and beauty. Its creations are perfect and they reveal nothing forced or inhibited, uneasy or agitated. Each form has been born easily, free and complete. Everything breeds satisfaction and we are surely not mistaken in seeing in this heavenly calm that contents the highest artistic expression and spirit of that age. So here, you have to create an artwork applying the characteristics from the Renaissance period. And here's how you can do your artwork. Materials Oslo paper Art materials including pencil, permanent marker, paint, watercolor, and paint brush. Procedures 1. Paint an object in accordance with the principles of art of the Renaissance period. 2. Arrange the objects in different colors that will manifest the characteristics of Renaissance period. Now, let's have the thumbs up and thumbs down activity. Say thumbs up if the statement is true and thumbs down if the statement is wrong. Number 1. Renaissance, a French word means rebirth, was the period of economic progress. Thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer is thumbs up. Number 2. Donatello was one of the Italian great artists of the period. He was an early Renaissance Italian sculptor from Florence. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Let's see. Okay, so it's thumbs up. 3. Mona Lisa is a famous artwork made by Donatello. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Let's see. Thumbs down. Number four. Terra was made by Da Vinci. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Let's see. It's thumbs down. Number five. The Renaissance was a period of artistic experimentation. It brought man into a full view just like the human figure in Greek art. Thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer is thumbs up. Wow, did you get all the correct answers? Very good. Now, we all know that we are now at the peak of this global pandemic. As we experience this new normal, we have created a lot of realizations and reflections in our head about what have been done in the past, what could we do in our present, and what might happen to us and our family members for the coming days of our lives while still coping to the many changes happening around us. Going back to the dark ages that is often branded as a time of war, ignorance, famine, and pandemics such as the Black Death, the arrival of the Renaissance period is the beginning of life, survival, or rebirth. Now, the question is, what are your plans that you wish to do after surviving this pandemic as a sign of rebirth? Now, to end this lesson, let's have our post-test. So read the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. It means rebirth. A. Renaissance. B. Baroque. C. Neoclassical. D. Romantic. The correct answer is A. Renaissance. 2. Which among the four choices is not an artist of Renaissance period? A. Donatello. B. Michelangelo C. Raphael D. Bernini The correct answer is letter D. Bernini 2. 3. It is regarded as one of the world's most reproduced religious pictures. A. Mona Lisa B. The Last Supper C. David D. The Transfiguration 
The correct answer is B. The Last Supper. 4. He is known as the ultimate Renaissance man. A. Raphael B. Donatello C. Da Vinci D. Michelangelo The correct answer is C. Da Vinci Number 5 Known to be Raphael's last painting A. The Sistine Madonna B. The Transfiguration C. The Feast of Herod D. The School of Athens The correct answer is B. The Transfiguration So that's all for today's lesson. Thank you for listening. Bye!